Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today we're going to do an unboxing of a pair of shoes. There's actually two here in the stack, but we're just going to do uh, the first pair first, and uh, I'll do a separate video for the other pair. But these are shoes that are my first shoes coming out of Indonesia uh, from a company called uh, Vatia. And I'm um, very excited about this. Um, it's actually a, a, a bit of time coming and uh, looking forward to seeing exactly how these turned out. I've, uh, he was kind enough to send me some pictures of work in progress along the way on these, but I want to make sure that uh, I'm able to, uh, to see them and uh, get a good feel for um, for this pair of shoes. So, um, this is the new thing now is that people are, um, sending shoes without a box or in just like a shoe box like this. And it's not in another box. And that used to be very troubling. And now the shoe boxes are making it just fine. Now this is a really interesting shoe box. If you look, the pattern on here has like little flowers built into the pattern on the paper, which is interesting. Now, the, there's a story behind these shoes. Um, when I first um, contacted uh, Vachia, um, they had uh, joined a, um, a group that I, I, I managed with some other guys uh, on emerging shoe brands. and. Uh, they had uh, come on and, and, and talked about, um, you know, what they do and how they approach the market. Really a nice, uh, nice guy. And uh, a couple of members had tried the shoes. Uh, this is hand welted, hand lasted, hand stitched. And, um, you know, just a really, really nice, uh, nice set. So I thought I'd give it a try, but I wanted to do something a little different. And I've been thinking about a patina like this. Uh, I was looking at a brand out of China, also emerging, that I wanted to try this with, uh, but um, I decided that I would give these guys a shot with it first, and uh, I'll include um, a, uh, a, a copy of the a picture from Instagram of, of the shoe that was inspired for this. And, you know, when, when you're working with an artisan, you try to have them, um, you know, you give them something for inspiration, but you don't want them to copy another artist's work. Um, he had come up with this, uh, this cool idea of doing a spiral hole cut, which is what these are. Um, and I've shown a spiral hole cut on my channel before, but it starts here and then it goes around and around here ends in a wing tip right out here, right? So it's kind of cool. It's one piece of leather and um, just a really interesting uh, method for doing a shoe. Um, origins of the spiral hole cut. My understanding is that they, um, the first one was done by John Lobb. And this reverse patina, I don't have a lot of history on. I've seen it a couple times and I saw it by the one shoemaker. And so I wanted to see how they would do with it. And uh, it was new to him. And so he had a lot of questions about it. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna move the light around here so you can see. I've got this really kind of a mid blue, which is exactly what I asked for, and then have it white here at the beginning. Now, I call it a reverse patina because normally what you get is you get like a light color shoe and then you have dark on the toe and have it faded in. Well, this way what we did was we did the reverse of that where it's light at the shoe and you fade in. Now we did not do that on the heel you can see how that uh, overall came out. Now, he did uh, JR um, heels, JR soles. He put toe plates on it, and he included these uh, spring trees, lasted spring trees. Now, um, the last on this is called the Hippogriff, and it is a very nice last. I, I would have bought the shoes just for the name of the last, because... <laughs> I'm a Harry Potter fan, and I thought that that was kind of cool. Uh, a lot of his are um, based on Harry Potter. 
Um, so that's good. Now I will tell you that the, uh, the toe plates are not ex exceptionally well done. They're not flush in the front and you can feel the screws are not flush either. So that's going to be something that, uh, you know, we have to look at, which is unfortunate, but you know, this isn't the review. This is just the, the beginning, but as I've, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to probably, I don't know if he carved them out at all. It looks like he did, but didn't do a uh, didn't do a good enough job carving them out. So I may have to have somebody fix that, which is unfortunate, but that's the reality when you try a new brand, right? Um, and then, uh, you know, here, hand-stitched, they fudged directly over the stitches, um, which is nice, and they did a good job. And, you know, they did a nice waist, nice fiddle back, this uh, contour, and overall, you know, pretty good. So I've got to wear the shoes, but this is an unboxing, so I wanted to do that. Now they tied them <laughs> quote unquote wrong because you see how it goes vertical like this. Generally speaking, what you have to do, well, and this is hard because they tied them on the inside, right? So, but uh, what you want to do is you want to tie them so that they lay on the other way. Like that. See, and I just reversed the way I tied them in order to be able to fix that one small problem. Now, I have to think about this and decide if I'm gonna do a mirror shine on this. I ought to be able to use navy wax on here. If I do it thin enough, um, I can get a big, nice uh, shine on it without actually coloring in, because, you know, wax is transparent. So I ought to be able to do that without coloring in the, uh, the shoe itself which should be, uh, should be quite nice uh, in the end. So, um, looks good, like the way they came out. Um, certainly don't see any technical issues other than the fact that the plates are uh, a little wonky. And they both are. And actually, if you look at this, you can see the nail heads sticking out, or the screw heads sticking out, which is, again, it's unfortunate, but, you know, if I take that to a, a reputable cobbler, they can, uh, you know, recarve that out and uh, make quick work of it. And candidly, I may not do that at all. I may just wear them. Um, I have a couple pairs that I had done um, by a patina artist, and uh, they're also a little on the wonky side, but never did anything with them, and, you know, no harm, no foul. So this is my first pair from the brand Fascia um, out of Indonesia. Um, really excited to... Uh, uh, make some progress with Indonesian shoes and boots and see what uh, what all I think about them. So thank you again for watching and have a good night.